The following video will present the essential shoulder exam for the internist. The best way to master the shoulder exam is to always perform it in the same order. We will start with inspection or observation and then move on to the ABCs of palpation. For the range of motion and strength tests, we will isolate each rotator cuff or sits muscle and then finish the exam with the provocative tests using the mnemonic BIAS, which stands for Biceps Impingement, AC, and Stability Tests. So we're going to start with inspection, and I'm looking at both shoulders to look for any asymmetry, bony prominences, uh, shoulder separation. And from the back, we're looking for any atrophy of the supra or infraspinatus muscles. And now we're going to do the ABCs of palpation. So I'm going to start first with the AC joint at the end of the clavicle, feeling right here for the acromioclavicular joint. The B for biceps, so finding his biceps and feeling it snap underneath my finger. The C for coracoid right here on the anterior surface of the scapula. And then from the back, the subacromial space right here in this soft spot. So now we're gonna move on to the rotator cuff muscles. We're gonna start with supraspinatus and we're gonna have him bring his arms out to the side up as high as he can go, both arms all the way up as high as you can go, always starting with active, and if active is not full, you'll do passive. And now with the thumbs down, put your arms down slowly, and we're measuring the, the drop arm test all the way down. Very good. And now we're gonna test strength. We're gonna have his hands out to the side about 45 degree angle. Don't let me push down, I'm gonna push against your hand, checking for strength. Now we'll do infraspinatus and teres minor, so elbows at your side like this. You're gonna rotate out as much as you can, keeping your elbows at your side, very good. If there was any uh, loss of range of motion, I would do passive range of motion. And then for the lag test, I would have you hold your arm and don't let it fall back. And he can hold it, it does not flop back. So negative lag test. And now we're gonna test your strength, elbows at your side. Don't let me push, and you push out as hard as you can. And he's got five out of five strength. Turn around, we're gonna check your internal rotation. You're gonna go ahead and uh, bring this finger, uh, thumb up as high as you can behind your back. Okay, as high as you can go. Very good, and he gets to about T6. Okay, I can try passively to get him higher, not much more, and then hold it there, don't let it drop. That's a negative lag test. I'm gonna bring his hand back down, and with this hand, push your hand away from your back and push against my hand. So push away, and he's got five out of five strength for Gerber liftoff. And now we're going to do the provocative test. We're going to start with the biceps test, and I'm going to have him shake my hand, elbow at his side. You're going to turn your palm up, and I'm going to resist that motion. Ready, go. Any pain over this area? No. And then we're going to do speeds test. So I'm going to pull this hand out, elbow slightly flexed, palm supinated. Don't let me push down. Hold it up as hard as you can. Any pain over there? No. And now we're going to do the impingement test, Nears and Hawkins. So Nears test, arm is down. I'm going to Passively bring his arm up all the way here. Any pain with that maneuver? No. And then Hawkins test with the arm abducted. Go ahead and relax. I'm gonna go ahead and internally rotate and see if any of that causes pain. Any pain? No. Moving on to the AC test, we're gonna have him do the scarf test. So reach and grab the other shoulder, okay? Any pain here? No. And then the cross arm test, push against my hand as hard as you can. Any pain here? And now we're gonna do the stability test. We're gonna start with the apprehension test. So I'm gonna bring his arm out, abducted, and I'm gonna externally rotate as much as I can and pay attention to his face to see if he feels like there's any anterior movement or instability, which there's not. If, if he felt some instability, we could do the relocation test. So I put my hand here as if I'm recreating the ligament and do the same motion and take a look and see if any of that causes pain or the feeling of instability. Moving on to the load and shift test, I'm gonna have him really relax. His arm, I'm gonna load the joint with my body, so I'm gonna push in. And then with my hand, I'm gonna use it to bring it forward and back. Feeling for any catching, maybe a labral tear, 
or anterior or posterior instability. So Brian's is done in a seated position. I'm going to have him adduct his arm across 45 degrees with the thumb down. Hold your arm there and don't let me push down. Hold it up. If it hurts with this position you and relieved when the thumb is up, don't let me push down. Hold it. If that makes it feel better, that's a positive O'Brien's test. 